mostly I feel like I got some of my voice from Ralph, uh, and um, and I know I'm not the only one who thinks that. And I'm just looking forward to to listening. Um, does anyone else want to add anything to this intro? Okay, uh, Ralph with charity, please. What are sharks is this very thing you try to do, the Epaphrodite. How odd. How utterly collaborative that said quick collaging for ear is instantly the one-handed barmaid. Only one hereabouts has seen before, and no way to tell her the one full breast is probably heavier than the other. This very contingency and field expedience of such costumes such intimate hang time, nor actual side, not heavier than each, fully knowing and telling in every fashion, full breath, flim, flam, filmy fingered, on your echo resonated these each. Something is happening here, or rather has been happening for a long time and continues as it will. Only it is very hard to perceive since it occurs at different speeds and in wholly unexpected areas of any given frame. The speed is a clue, perhaps the only clue. For the sun is hungry, as piss for a flat rock is hungry, as sand for more breakers, nor are cold and shadow the only hors d'oeuvres. There is indigestion in every given frame, because some unknown always eats too fast, and the too frequent job of the man in charge has been slate of hand. But gas is pervasive, has been and will. Our eyes seeing only what the sun eats, since the sun, unlike the moon, is always full. We cannot imagine any lessening of its fury, yet lessen and greatness the one great lesson of the sun. If the drum's a woman, and so's a tambourine, what wouldn't be asked of hand and thigh, and so is the tapping foot, and the whole atmosphere gets handled with briefs of sudden interruption. And the very shape of ambiance itself can change how the sudden seems, and how moving means, and how the end in sight keeps on with, but postpones it, precisely as if the choices were a choice as if choosing were or when could be led to by ear, where ear is read as tolerable anticipations that build places to be fully known wherein were and when and are and then flirt deliberately. And a woman would and wouldn't simultaneously and not as if doubt were not a soul to be savored. Who could even speak of cricket babies and the bold voiced wizards? Blair sprung roilers, bean centered cog dragons, pyramidal uprushers, mysterious laser whelps, long distance silverfish, half life reversal serpents, smoky disciples of the atomic witch. The mind, tongue, and gape sound muscularly. We are frankly looking without blink at all seaworthy and suspense wrapped as depth or wrapped as breadth. Or ever see speak it that very foolful rapacidity rapidly weeping so raving is fingered through, is abandoned now. 
this perfect season and splash research there, wherever an everlasting squid whippery. And how can we not try to see one another? And why is undigested tatum and the eating of glass the very essence of the very overbite that is Toledo's echo down along the Ohio? And yes, we are a long way from any coast, save the many minded, sounding and roving with all. I will, you, in this of, bring your to my, in this of, a mama's remain, turn and are. Bring your body to my bed, you and all your friends, I will teach you here now and evermore. Will you, in this of, in this rolling pool of water, nets ride every current, and the wide-eyed ones among us remain motionless, turn color, and are eaten. Bring your body to my bed, you and all your friends. Bring you to my I will in this of, or bring you to my you and all. I will teach you silver shafts and groaning in this wilderness of water. I will you in this of, bring you to my in this of. That's the grace. I can even speak. Sometimes a wound, howsoever inadvertent, is simply too great a shark's wide eyed bite and stampeded school sapped in the midst is, and this is admitted on the cusp of the successive. It's the when you know, you know syndrome. As tidal flux frist, and double bind Chris and crocs as has been heard, and being that bite you bet day, a moving testament unable to cease the savor, all planktonic and bashboard chromantic, and yea, though we float so rarely these days, are uncommon and jammed. Thar she boweth above, the common sinks with curses, and lust girdle all the splash on both sides as they come goeth. Mouthing water as sea water, lest they drown. Mouthing water as sea water, lest they drown. The least important thing about it all is what it's saying, which is why it doesn't have to say anything. Yes, it does have to mean but it doesn't have to mean what it says. It's important to get lost in a poem. Not because you can get lost in a poem, but because a lost is something that can be gotten in a poem, and it is this begotten that is the most important thing. The one thing that makes getting lost and saying nothing matter. Makars commune with the dead, and artists who've come back I have come back from the other side. Strapless bolts of spun satire she does. Fills her hair with brevities, hung queries, messes holy eyeless, and each plurality mime rhythm pockets throughout the drum meadow. Pulsars, the intricate cyclicities under each leaf a slug of the old easy desert. Slam, pool, a longward hissing, serpents of outrageous and outroar. None of it not muted, not fluted and only mated. The migratory momentum troubled as waters are, as wind and stainings and the erosion of dear illusions, maxi crafted skyline in the desert, mountains down under the Pacific ring of fire, icy tips of the volcano floating on cloud weed. Pocket rhythm in sockets of ears, here, her. Because Jack's not only Jack, Jack's also the music, which is no mean mouthful, no despairing other or not immediate and ongoing. Jack's the net escaped, which is this music too. And how many get to know that, let alone honor that? Or, and how's this for unsung? Begot to participate, 
in that briefest of every lasted glimpses sounding in the famous midst. Oh, raucous chest thumbery, slipped at some nooses, chaos dodged, this time, even if only this very time, in all those seas of inattention, seizures of leakage, that very liquidity upon a dolly, parting the Red Sea of quid quo pro furred, but must needs deferred. Indeed. When she call me me out of she come she call me come stillish. Come stillish, no out she come. When she call me home is the agua slow out of she call me agua. Agua call me. Si come snow guamish guano guami. Snow comish guano galachi. Achi guam guami guana chi still. Atto chi atto. Chi atto chi com. Chi com comish chi com guami. When I can guat chi comish. Homish chi atto mi guam guami snow homish. When I chi come at chi snow. Come at chi gua. Achi still guamish hum comish. Come at chi snow guamish. Hachi kum kuma kuma kuhum kumish. Hachi agwa kum kuami kuam. Hado chi hado. Chi hado chi gwa. Gwa kuma kuhum kumish. Gwa guami si kumish still hado. Snow guamish kwa la hachi gwa homish still. When chi kuami. Chi kuami homish. Snow guamish. Chi kumish guam kumish when hado. Hum kumish still hado kum agwa. Still hado la kuma. When chi kuami mi chi guamish. She comes with the arrow. Quah, the arrow, arrow, quam, quam, arrow, quam, comes. Quah, the arrow. She comes, she arrow, she quam, she arrow, quam, she snow, she quam, she when she arrow, she arrow, she arrow, she quah. Sing songs alive, may we be made. Sing songs of easy and they're easily we. Salam alas, my my may. Salam, salam, my my we, my I. Am thine eye aligned? Song in mind, I am blind. So all the merry, merry am. So all the may, and we am I. Sing am, I am, we am, and more. Sing we am each finality eased. Sing we am sensed and eased to each. Mine am we each evening seen. So every year we am, my may. My mirror am each sang since thee. Since my am easy. I am easily thine. May we by am so easily be. Sing my am each each eve since thee. Here bind my name and may and mere. May am me my, my, thine align thy. My, my, may be mine, and my, and mine. Since song am I and I am blind. Since song a lot, and ere we may. Call the hearth at home, friendly fire. Call the cold hours, starlight, friendly fire. And while friendly fire is everywhere and forever, this fire reaps and prays. This fire lights both ways. Mine eyes flake with unexploded impact. Mine eyes infiltrate jelly tank towns. Power walking, well healed graft along sweat banded loopy beach heads. Call the pain of birth, friendly fire. Call the cries of babes, friendly fire. And while friendly fire is everywhere and forever, this fire gives and takes away. This fire leaps and falls both ways. My eyes. Belly up to the guile larder, guilt, guilt, and fool around. Mine eyes climb, hand over hand, collateral pig's foot, cake, camel spit, the Pentagon pool. Call the threaded looms, friendly fire. Call our darkened room, friendly fire. While friendly fire is everywhere and forever, this fire flays and it slays. This fire weaves both ways. When eyes elope with pack rats, 
Reckless shuttlecocks are my eyes. Mine eyes field strip jackets, whisker coned, ambulatory undeloused starvation buffer buds of trench flag bridges down. Call lakes when they shine, friendly fire. Call waves when they break, friendly fire. And while friendly fire is everywhere and forever, this fire aches and it craves. This fire bathes both ways. My eyes have seen shrouded captives pile, down choke doom tides that bind. My eyes align beloved warps, click beetle below bellowing, hypnostipulated pushovers, registrating duality crest blood fellows. Call grasses when they sway, friendly fire. Call fireflies in their dance, friendly fire. Wow. Friendly fires everywhere and forever. This fire burns where it braves. This fire churns both ways. Mine eyes are incandescent, lusty fleas, procreant witnesses swallowed by the sword. Mine eyes crosshair, whole quilts of plague ghetto, ethers inhaled, stuttering grease clams, global intake, cringe roots, bootland. Mm. Mm. Call the morning star, friendly fire. Call the setting sun, friendly fire. And wow, friendly fires everywhere and forever. This fire eats the days. This fire bites both ways. Comet's tail, friendly fire. Call the new moon silver, friendly fire. Wild friendly fires everywhere and forever. This fire sleeps within the blaze. This fire wakes both ways. My eyes cope dawn's early light and the smoke of twilight's fast breathing. My eyes lock headlong, baggy and bodiless. Consensus swept support nodes, giddy on dire world caught love, mine eyes whirl, horish ado and anon. Caught our breath in tears where they ran. The whole of crossing over is the whole of what we do here. Stutter trills and hop slides fairly well. The echo's cadence still more remains the same. The whole of what we do here won't be done again. It makes you wonder why we remember what we do. Staying put's not what will we do, eh? It is not what will achieve. I walked off with things in hand I couldn't drop. I knew I'd bring it back, but maybe not. The urge to stop still waits upon the rise. Crossings bear no more the tilting shade. These shadows stride askance and dip askew. Reverberated bones, these tones we do. Each line of every song escapes in vain. All rhythms host all breath and all is the same. The whole of what we're doing is all the whole of crossing over. Tis the patch of light briefly where we stood. Tis the ease of this. It weeks away. Did the old ones who were gone hear us when we ring in singing? And I believe they do. It is all imprecisely what they must do. When I'm gone, I'll listen too. The old ones who are still here have vivid dreams of those they knew now in added silence. Oh, overpopulated ear, cocked and rotting and never not filled with such promise. Since what the dead do is listen, it is crucial never to address them. Every uttered word is already overheard, and their overwhelming promise 
as the last mute magician's cock of rotting is that the word alive go elsewhere always, antic and aloud. Talk to sleep against their lovers, poets wail sweetly as you. Night rose round the globe, loony and tuneful in a wide band, kicked off by sun and lo, the poets who have lovers swale, sweetly tucked, rolling. Blessed breathy resonance reigns. These are those wee hours poets who have lovers know, and who sleep with lovers' hair high. Blessed are the ducked against, whose easy breathing reigns askew, whose true flight heaves sweetly, whose global glaring wearies in love. Blessed are the poets, their wakeful raging precisely bent lightly down and close, their tuned terrors fleshed, merciful, wet and torped and rhymed and fat, blessed and hard, naked and fading, softed and close, sleepful, gone for yes. It is death to wake a sleeping poet, it is death to bring such a son to bear there, and tis death to sing the bitter wake lovelessly old. Tis death, tis death. To plight soundless, wordless, and alone. Blessings on the poets who sleep love sleep. Their solitary plights soft and aware. Soft and aware as night rolls, as danger nods, as sweetness weaves. Such brevity drains, and oh, that such charm Find thee, sweet bitters, O poets, who come here, song sunny praise, dire to misery, lucre, or loony tunes. Sleep tucked, O rolling god weavers, tis danger loving death ye despise, aye, all premature dawn and the moon that cannot rock us. Sleep tucked, not weavers, bend precisely nightly down. We come bereft of policy praise. Our thoughts hum. We are choked by jokes, unfocused, limp and newborn, naughty tuckers, loony, baneful, bawling ones, oh, ye plight bound, livid okies, descend ye, I disperse, dispel the stiff blind, stink and go, slick, die, whole days in shade, damn doers, lick, oh, die another birth already, defy decline. Go down, bend nightly, mock a moon that cannot rock us, nightly down, doom, like notly loom, do sweetly doom, askew I do. On the I can see where the moon says I love you. On the I can see where the moon says I love you red sky falling on the I can see sing sun will dawn sun will dawn we are falling to sleep and the shade is stealing upon us briefly we awake and move and light lightly glancing gravely at all we can see others move in the others Mine our courage with their moving as we mine theirs with ours. And so it goes. Miners all glancing bravely. That old acoustic sun. That old acoustic sun. That old acoustic sun's all wet. Sun sounds bright today. Sun pounds out every beat. Sun shines and downs and yawns and calls. There can't be no other way. Our sleep has been and will be long. The theft total when it comes. Slowly our eyes focus the subtle colors of the field. How the lover's face dims and brightens choose from what comes closest, and what comes closest chooses from us. And we are not afraid, so much as quickened by the shade. On the I can see where the waves 
say I love you. On the I can see where the waves say I love you. Red sky is sailing on the I can see sing. Sun will dawn, sun will dawn. As white caps to the moon and blades to the breeze as the poppy to the distant and dominant sun. Quickly now, so much being irresistible, so tiny and so utterly grand, we've hardly time to tell, yet we know. Comes a murmur and a stirring, the kiss of light widens and grows deep. The knowing ground slopes towards us, now the embrace, now the cause of all. Only I can see where a rose says I love you. Only I can see where a rose says I love you. The red sky rising on the I can see sing. Sun will dawn, sun will dawn. I wanted to make a poem. You could stay inside though. One that you hear over and over and over everywhere. You would, and you could, would be how it would go. One that whenever you'd keep at it, you'd always be in, circling onward inside itself and outwardly radiative, feeding off resonance just that way and by radiance, I mean. Even when making love, or nodding along in a pew, or while stopped in traffic, or paused above the abyss, that old joke about sliding down a banister of light, and one that it end, precisely when you stopped doing it.